Hey, hi everyone. Here's some information about revision for GCSE PE. The first and probably most important thing to know is that we've done quite a lot of research into how we think you can be even more successful this year than previous year groups. One of the things we found was the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 Physical Education Complete Revision and Practice Guide was the perfect book. So rather relying on yourselves or your families have to buy it, we've bought you all a copy. And you'll see on the screen, I've taken the blurb off the website. I think the, inter the most interesting thing for me is what's included. So there's quick tests as you go. There's end of topic practice questions, topic review questions later in the book, mixed practice questions at the end of the book, which is great. It doesn't, it doesn't just make sure you focus on one area. Topic by topic practice alongside the workbook. Complete exam style paper at the end, which is, again, really helpful. All the answers are in there as well. And then the bits in yellow I've not explored yet, but the few the free Q&A flashcards to download online and the free ebook version should mean that you can utilize this on the go electronically. Okay, the intervention sessions will continue after the mock exam. At the moment, we're just focusing on certain pupils and it's been invitation only. So we've got a small cohort of pupils who are coming along, really concentrating on some of the basics. We're going to extend that, opening up to a wider population after the next set of mock exams. BBC Bite Size, I think this is something you're all aware of. Just make sure when you go to BBC Bite Size, you type in GCSE Edexcel Physical Education to make sure you're on the right specification. Um, it's got all the different unit guides and small 10 point, 20 point questions, um, topic, end of topic tests in there, which are nice, as it says, bite size revision sessions. Similar, Seneca, um, I know that you've accessed this and you can access this for all the different topic areas. So again, Seneca lets us know how you're doing. It records your score in real time. And we can check that you've been using that for revision. So Seneca is a really great resource. So make sure again that you go to the Edexcel PE GCSE revision section of Seneca. Now YouTube is awash with videos. Some of them are really good. Some of them not so good. Um, the specification has changed recently, changed over the years. So you've got to make sure you're looking at the most recent stuff. Um, what we'll do is we'll make sure that all the best videos are listed for you in your Google Classroom. So you know which ones to access. But have a look around. The EverLearner is really good. And as you can see there, there's a revision session for the GCSEP paper one. There's one for paper two. This is last academic year um, leading up to the exam. Over an hour long, going through all the different topic areas and the questions just to make sure you're aware of what's on those test papers. So certainly one to look out for this year. Um, we've always told you to keep an eye on what's going on in the news, to watch social media, Sky Sports, to listen to the radio, to visit websites, etc. You need to keep doing that, especially leading up to your exam, because in those nine point questions, there might be certain topical things that you can link areas back to. And that'll be really helpful for you. If you've got a good knowledge of sport and of recent events and some of the larger events, it will be really helpful. So you can say to your parents, some of my vision is to read about and to watch sport, which is great. So that's all the theory stuff. Um, You've also got some revision that you've got to do for the practical, practical exams, practical assessments coming up very soon. What do you need to do? Well, number one, not really, not really revision, but just organization. Make sure you know when they're taking place with the letter we wrote down, your timetable. Just check that. Also, let your teachers know that you're going to be missing certain lessons. Talk to your head of year, talk to your tutor to make them aware so no one's chasing you up. It will all be put on go for schools. Um, and just out of courtesy, ask them if there's any work to catch up with. Have you got your equipment ready? So if you're doing the football exam, we've said bring football boots, bring shin pads, cricket exam, bring your own bat. If you're doing the rugby exam, there will be contact, so you'll need a gum shield. Just make sure you've got everything that you need for your practical exams to be successful. And talking of being successful, are you ready? Are you at your best? Are you absolutely prepared for what is essentially, imagine you're going to a football trial and you're trying to show your best for that one hour. So the night before, make sure you get good sleep, make sure you eat properly, bring some food with you, bring a drink with you. Just make sure you're fully prepared to showcase your ability. Thank you.